Hi, Kathy Woods with the Philadelphia Tribune. Um, you're playing one of my all-time favorite artists, Donna Summer. I love me some Donna Summer. You can't talk about Miss Summer. But talk <laughs> about what it's like to play this icon because sadly, she passed away before I think she really got the flowers that she deserved. What was your preparation like? Man, my preparation involved a lot of going back to some of those earlier interviews because, of course, we know the music, and that was something that I'm, I'm very aware of. However, as far as the woman behind the music, that was something that I was very excited to dive into um, and excited to portray on the screen because that's what makes this film so interesting because we've heard, you know, the story a little bit, but we didn't know how you go from LaDonna Gaines to Donna Summer. How, do, how does that happen? And, you know, it was really exciting for me to take on that opportunity to learn more about such an iconic artist because I might I might never have done it um, if it wasn't for this role. Absolutely. The other thing, too, she doesn't get the credit for being an amazing songwriter. She was more than a singer. She's a songwriter, a musician, and a style icon. A lot of those flowy dresses, like in Thank God, it's Friday, that glittery dress, mm -hmm. the flower in her hair, throwback to um, Billie Holiday. A lot of it was just, you know, a lot of women wanted to be her and dress like her. How much fun was just getting to get those looks and, you know, to help you get into character? Yes. Well, I love a good look. <laughs> and of course, that was really fun to just um, just explore my femininity in a completely different way. Um, and in that way. And but also you touch on something that, you know, I've been saying, is, and that's the fact that she was an incredible songwriter. You know, there it wasn't just, you know, being a pop star and going up and having somebody else. She was involved in that, which is iconic for especially the time but it would even be iconic for today's time so I I definitely that was something that I was just like I want more people to talk about and more people to to just you know yeah talk about to give the flowers absolutely and the other thing too is just the fact that um she did get her start she did was in musicals and one of the things that people talked about about singers, especially the disco genre, that they were studio singers. And Miss Summer's mic was always on. She had an amazing high octave range voice. She could sing anything. And I think that's why she was one of those artists that survived and was able to get out of the disco era and still have other albums. Can you talk about that? Because I don't think, besides the songwriting, obviously she made a lot of great dance music. But she could sing, sing, you know what I mean? Yes. So talk yes, a little I bit about the vocal preparation. Oh, yeah. I think the huge thing, like what you just touched on, you see it in Demo All the Lights, for instance, you know, and, and uh, that's one of the records where she really shows another aspect of the vocal. But people forget about the fact that she was doing musicals before and is vocally trained. And so just because a artist decides to use their vo voice in one way, because those were the songs of the times, doesn't mean that she couldn't do it, which is why I love when she does Demo All the Lights and, and all these other things like throughout the career like when seeing that evolution um but that you you're touching on something really really powerful because of the fact that you know people forget that just because you can sing 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 doesn't mean that every record is needs that and so another thing that i respect about her is understanding that she was so versatile and understanding when to use it was it made it just even more powerful absolutely well i love this music this is right my jam um, you know, it was a good time and, and just being able and people really enjoy dancing and partner dancing. So I really enjoyed this movie and I enjoyed your portrayal and best of luck to you with this project. Thank you so much.